When the school was closed back in April, we couldn't prepare the students for anything. When they left here, we had very few plans at that point in time. It was a big shock to me, to my fellow teachers, and also to students. We really thought about our candidate class and we wondered, what about the syllabus coverage? What about the revision? What time are we coming back? Our first priority was to see how the students get home safely. And once they got home safely, we thought of uh, how do we now follow up on their well-being? Because the background of the students we deal with, uh, some of them come from very humble backgrounds. So we started to look at what we needed to do to get them up on virtual lessons. Now that was not an easy thing for us because we had 650 Form 1 to 4s out in around the country. We had to start thinking of how we can get to our students and how we can facilitate online learning given their, their dynamics. We are an Apple school, so we use Apple technology when, when on campus. And it was obvious to us that we could not send iPads to the students because of many reasons. So we settled for a smartphone that would be able to allow the various platforms to run for them to be able to access the online learning. Then Safaricom was able to use their logistics to get the device to every student from wherever they are in the country. Right now we can do classes like normal classes like the way we do when we're in school. So in this case, we are teaching then we engage them through the chat. The lesson is recorded so that learner can visit and still view the class so no learner is normally left out. We found that we had 160 students or thereabouts who had little or no access to electricity. So we decided that the MCOPA units were the best for charging. So again, we approached MCOPA, got a very, very good price for them, and we managed to get all of those out to the students as well. I never used to study at night or in the morning because there was no electricity. The MCOPA units, it is easier to charge my phone. It helps the family because it, it lights the house and I can also study at night. With the e-learning, there is this aspect of independence. I've been able to get more time to research and I've learned new things. It has really been of much benefit. We can continue learning and we can continue doing research. Like the way I was used in school to collaborate with others physically. For now we collaborate with platforms like WhatsApp, and also social media so that we can continue learning. The Safaricom has come up with a data bundle, which they called the e-learning bundle, where they were able to whitelist uh, reso online resources to use that particular data bundle. So whatever data bundle we were sending to them could only be used for the specific online resources which we gave. This is a very good experience. I, I know it is on the negative side of the COVID, but we are taking it as a chance that we have explored so many things. I wouldn't have thought that I can teach students when they are not in the class. So we now need to just rethink the way we deal with students once they go home at the end of term. But certainly for their families, there will be a big, big advantage for those 160 families that now have access to lighting, which they never had before. I am for you.